Hello friends, welcome back to another tutorial of Yosemite topics. Uh, right now I'm going to be talking about RNA processing and how um, RNA is made in the, in the nucleus and what happens from the nucleus to the cytoplasm, all the different stages that we kind of have to know for this exam. So I'm not going to go into, you know, teeny tiny details, but I'm just going to quickly run over the RNA processing that takes place. So when we have DNA in the nucleus, so this is in the nucleus, and from DNA, we are getting our mRNA. We're getting our mRNA. That stage of mRNA that is just freshly being made from DNA is not called messenger RNA. It's actually called heteronuclear RNA, or HNRNA. And the reason it's called HNRNA is because uh, that RNA is not being processed or that RNA has not been modified to kind of uh, take its leap into the cytoplasm. So what are the different things that happens um, to this RNA that it can take the leap from the nucleus to the cytoplasm? So first of all, the first thing we have to remember is that any, like any DNA, every RNA has a 5 prime and a 3 prime. So every RNA, every heteronuclear RNA, because it's heteronuclear right now, has a 5 prime and a 3 prime. Okay? Now, what happens with these different primes? What happens is that the first thing that happens inside the nucleus is that the 5 prime gets a cap called the 5 guanosine cap. Okay, so the 5 prime is capped by 5 guanosine cap. Okay, so this is the first thing that happens in the 5 prime. I'm sorry, I probably can't see the entire page. Let me move it a little bit. Okay, so what happens in the 5 prime? Um, uh, 5 prime has a 5 prime cap, a guanosine cap. All right, so that's the first thing. So that's why I put it as numeric number 1. What happens in numeric number 2, or the second thing that happens is that the 3 prime, the 3 prime of the HNRNA gets a poly A tail. Okay, so it has many A, 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 A at the very end of 3 prime. And this poly A tail does not need, need a DNA for this, put this addition, for, for the addition of poly A tail. Okay, so this, that's the second thing that happens. So the first thing that happens is that the 5 prime guanosine cap comes and sits on the 5 prime of the uh, heteronuclear RNA, and then the 3 prime gets poly A tail. Okay, so right now we are still talking about the nucleus. All right, we have not moved from the nucleus. So now our HNRNA has a 5 prime cap and a 3 prime poly A tail. At this level, still inside the nucleus, Oh, one more thing I want to focus is that this is happening in eukaryotes, not in prokaryotes, only in eukaryotes, okay? Be this kind of regulation only happens in eukaryotes. So every time you see this, think of human body. All right, so at this stage when we're still in the nucleus, uh, our RNA is going to have introns and, and exons. So the, our RNA... I think at this state it's called pre-RNA. Pre-mRNA has introns. And the introns needs to be removed. Okay, and how are they removed? They are removed by the help of spliceosomes. Okay, they are removed by the help of spliceosomes. All right, so uh, now we have this RNA. Now we have this mRNA, which has poly A tail, guanosine cap, 
and no introns. This RNA, this mRNA is now ready for cytoplasm. Okay, this mRNA is now ready for cytoplasm. Now I'm going to draw a line here because all these events took place in the nucleus. Everything that happens now is going to be taking place in the cytoplasm. Now in the cytoplasm, let me just make some space, oops. Make some space here. So now we're talking about cytoplasm. What happens to our mRNA in cytoplasm? An additional thing ha happens. So this is the additional addition, <laughs> additional changes to the five prime end happens. And what is that change? The five prime get gets methylated. Okay. All right, the five prime gets met methylated on top of the guanosine cap. And now this mRNA is ready for translation. That's it. That's all that happens. So what happens to the nucleus is that it gets a guanosine cap in the five prime end, polyatel in the three prime end, and then the introns get removed by the spliceosomes. The uh, when it has a five, uh, no, ha it does not have five prime end or the three prime end. The RNA transcript is called heteronuclear RNA, and once it enters the cytoplasm, um, it becomes RNA. And additionally, a meth methylation of the five prime end happens, and our RNA is ready for translation. That's it. Simple. All right. So hope this was helpful, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now, and I'll post these notes on my blog.